Hello everyone. In this lesson I'm going to show you how to do raglan. This is ideal for sleeves. Um, it makes quite a nice finish uh, from the set in or drop shoulder. Um, and I'm going to do it so that it actually is part of a pattern and looks rather neat when it's done and sometimes it's called fully fashioned raglan. There are an easier way of doing it but I rather like this method. So I've done some stocking stitch as you can see which is one row knit and one row purl. And when it comes to the pattern part that says cast off which it normally does on large garments for adults it's maybe cast off four or six or even eight stitches but I've only got a few stitches here so I'm just going to cast off two stitches at each end and then go into the raglan so if I do a two cast off stitches it's quite easy to do if you haven't done it before I'm on a knit row so I'm knitting one stitch two stitches in knit and then the first stitch that I knitted, I pull the loop up and over the needle. And that's cast off one stitch. I'm going to cast off another one. So I knit the next stitch. And then the one behind it that was on the needle first comes up and over and off. So that's two stitches that I've cast off. I'll now continue to the end. So this is like for putting in sleeves. Just knit to the end there. You can see why I haven't got too many stitches on. It gets a bit boring just watching me knitting all the time. But if you if you're new to knitting, it's quite useful to see how the stitches are formed. Okay, to cast off two stitches at the beginning of the next row I'm going to cast off in a purl wise direction because the next row of stocking stitches purl I'm going to cast off purl wise so you can see I'm on a purl side now I'm going to cast off two stitches so the needle comes up through just like a regular purl stitch. You knit the stitch, or sorry, you purl the stitch rather, put it onto the needle and the next one so that you've all you're always working on two stitches when you're casting off. And now the very first stitch is a bit uh, fiddly, but it's you can do it with practice. You pull up over and off. That's one stitch cast off. We do another purl stitch. Get the needle in. Up and over, over the needle and off. That's two stitches. So now purl to the end of the row. And then we will start our fully fashioned raglan shaping get through these rather quickly hopefully not in my normal position I'm usually sitting in an armchair doing this and then mine will get not all right a couple of more stitches and we turn round to start the raglan shaping okay so Turn around and you can see now, I'll show you, got two stitches cast off there, two stitches cast off there. Right, we're going to start the raglan shaping. So this is what we do to begin. We first of all knit one stitch, because we're on a knit row, so it's knit one stitch and we're going to slip stitch so you put the pin through the, knee, the stitch and just exactly that you slip it off okay now we're going to knit another stitch and then the stitch that we slipped without knitting we're going to pass over so we're, in patterns it's known as PSSO pass slip 
stitch over okay and we knit to the end or at least to the last three stitches because we want to do some shaping at the end on this row as well so you're actually decreasing two stitches on every knit row on each end get to the last three stitches and we do it and now we knit two stitches together uh, on your patterns it will be marked as two tog t-o-g or, or k2 tog knit two together it means so Again, it's a little bit fiddly, but you get there. It's taking up two stitches this time. I'll do that again through the loops of two stitches. So you're knitting, literally knitting two stitches together and through and off the needle and then knit the last stitch. OK. So that's the beginning of our fully fashioned raglan. So you can see that there's one there going that way and one that side going that way we turn over and when you turn over for the pearl row it's just completely plain pearl stitches once again as I've said before when I do a pearl row I like to do a knit stitch at the beginning and end of the pearl row when you come to sew up your garment it just makes it so much easier to match the edges so this is just a pearl row with a knit stitch at each end, no shaping, and then you would begin again. So all your shaping is actually done on the knit row, on the plain knit row. Nearly there. And we come to the last stitch and I knit the last stitch. Turn round. See, we're beginning to get some shaping. I'll do another row so you can watch again. So we're on the knit row. We're going to knit one stitch, slip stitch one, knit one stitch, and PSSO pass slip stitch over there we go all right we've decreased one stitch at that end carry on to the end of the row to the last three stitches and of course you get quicker and quicker as the stitches decrease nearly there now and then we knit two together so through the loops, sorry, can you see that? And off, so I've knitted two together and knit the last stitch. And that's how you would continue until you got the correct number of stitches on your needle that your pattern tells you to have. So for an adult garment, you would be doing that you'd start off with quite a large number of stitches and you'd do quite a long amount of raglan shaping i'm only doing a little tiny bit to show you how it goes so you can see the actual design of it works its way up there and on that side okay and turn it round and you're on the pearl so it's always pearl on that side apart from the first and last stitch where i do a knit stitch so gradually you would work your way up and um, probably cast off the last few stitches just depends on what your pattern tells you might need to cast off a few stitches or even place those stitches onto a um, a pin holder a knitting stitch holder um, until you do the neck or whatever but i hope that helps in that fully fashioned raglan now it makes a very nice edge to your decreasing. 
Anyway, thanks for watching. See you again soon. Bye for now.